Hello, hello, everybody. So I'm really sorry. I'm excited to be here and show you today the my favorite way to get really smooth skin to help you get a really smooth application with your makeup. And this goes like across the board, no matter what kind of makeup you're using, this will always help you get a more flawless, more smooth finish. So first off, I am going to just apologize. I know I told you guys I was going to be live yesterday at four and my phone died and then I was working and yeah, sorry, it didn't happen. And now we're headed to the water park this morning. Hey Shay, how's it going? You're so sweet. Um, so we're just getting ready to head to the water park, but I told the kids, I'm like, I got to get on and show the girls what I was talking about, about getting smooth skin. So I, um, my husband and I always joke around about how I can grow like better sideburns than he can. <laughs> I'm not like a super duper hairy person, but I always get like a really good amount of peach fuzz here. And you guys, I've been growing it out just to show you. That sounds so gross that I've been growing it out. But I really, I just haven't done anything with it for a while so that I could let you see. And I know I'm not the only one that has this problem, that we get all this peach fuzz here. And I think that we think a lot about waxing like our lip or our eyebrows. Maybe you go and get that, that waxed or you go and get it um, threaded or however else. Um, but sometimes it's not conducive to like our schedule or our budget to go and get waxed all the time. And maybe we don't have um, the know-how to do like waxing and stuff like that at home. So like about a year ago, I found these little razors called Tinkle Razors. Have you guys ever seen these before? So these are like beauty razors. They've got um, like a protective covering on them. In fact, let me get one out here and I'll show you. So this is what they look like and they have this like nice like stainless steel protective guard on them and at first I was like I don't want to like shave my face like I'm not a man but I promise you like these are so soft they're so um what's the word gentle and what you do is you just make sure that you go with the hair you can use these on your eyebrows, on those really fine hairs that you get under and around your eyebrows, between here. I use them here, I use them here. I can get really sensitive skin sometimes, and so I really, really love them because with waxing, when I would wax here, okay, it was super, super smooth, but my skin would get all bumpy and turn red for a couple of days, and I hated it. Not to mention that it's like uncomfortable and for the blonde beard. I know, right? And even like I know, I remember meeting a lot of people in college and I'd never heard of this before that would bleach like their mustache and this stuff. And I was always like, why do you want to bleach it? Don't you just want to get rid of it? And when you're applying makeup, having those fine little hairs, the makeup clings to those little hairs just like it clings to your skin. And so those fine little hairs that you hardly notice when you have no makeup on, um, really stand out when you've got, um, yeah, they stand out when you've got makeup on them because you're kind of building them up, almost like putting mascara on your eyelashes. So I just kind of wanted to show you a really quick comparison. And hopefully my video is like HD enough for you to actually see this. But I'm going to take my cute little tinkle razor and you just go with the grain or like, you know, the direction that your hair grows. And guys, I kind of go nutso with these things because I get hair like clear down here. So I just kind of take care of all of this stuff. I will use it on like my lip. And it just makes it smooth. Like it feels like it did when I wax. It doesn't feel all stubbly and gross like you just shaved your face. It feels really, really smooth and really soft. So now I wanna show you, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna apply a little bit of foundation to this side where I just did that and you saw it took like two seconds. 
And then I'm gonna apply to this side and see if you guys can kind of see that like smooth difference. Um, you can find, I buy mine, I order mine on Amazon. I know you can get them like at Sephora and Ulta too, um, but I always order mine and they're really inexpensive. I always buy them in like these three packs because I like to replace them every couple of months. Um, it, I'm trying to remember. I should have looked up how much they were before I got on here. They might have been like $10 or something to get a three pack. They're very, very like inexpensive. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here for you and let you guys see it. I'll try to get up a little bit close so you can kind of see. I'm not doing too much makeup today because we're just heading out to the water park. Thus my attire. I'm like being very professional for my video today. Okay, so when I get up close, if you can kind of see just how smooth. My makeup doesn't have anything to stick to now except for my skin. And so it gives you that like perfect photo finish smooth look. Now if I take a little bit more of that highlight and I come over here on this side where I've got, wow, I, I grabbed way too much highlight. We'll just kind of spread it around here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this much like highlight on the lower half of my face before. We'll just go ahead and clean some of that up. If you haven't tried this stuff yet, you don't realize this, but you, this product goes really far. Like you barely brush it, stick your brush in and it goes a really long way. Okay, so now you guys can kind of see some of those hairs that you might not have even noticed when I was kind of showing you before with no makeup on. Now that I've got that makeup on, you can really see all those fine little hairs coming out and you can see it just accentuates them and like i said that's with any makeup line hey mom how's it going that's with any makeup line like cream mount foundations liquids powders anything are going to stick to the hair on your skin like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this off and i'm going to go ahead and tinkle that spot for you so that you can actually see the difference on that same side. I'm kind of let that dry for just a second. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> They're like really anxious because we're going, like I said, we're going to the water park. They're ready to go. No, but we're it's, going to what, Mom? Yes. And um, school starts Monday, so this is probably the last time we're going before school starts and they're very anxious. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little tinkle here, and I like to make sure that when I've got like my hair that's going back, that that's kept very far back and it's not gonna like accidentally get cut. Cause I don't wanna cut my, do you guys see that? Look how hairy I am. <gasps> that's so embarrassing that I'm doing this like on a Facebook Live and everybody can see how much hair I have on my face. But it's so fine. I mean, it's like a little, <laughs> like a little powder when it comes off. You guys will die when you do this. You know what, um, Priscilla, I've been doing this for quite a while and I have never felt like it grows back any thicker. It always still grows back just that really fine, like light, see how fluffy that is? It always grows back like that really fine white hair. I've never had it grow in thicker. I mean, definitely as I'm getting older, I'm getting like, you know, the whiskers. <laughs> you get like the one like dark hair that grows out of your chin. I still pluck those. But this for like those fine hairs. So like if I am gonna do this, I'll go through and check and make sure I don't have any of those like kind of long like, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. This is the worst video ever. <gasps> um, Like a long like black hair or something. I'll make sure I pluck any of those out before I do this because I don't wanna like shave those off at the surface. Same thing with my eyebrows, um, which I need to do actually today. My, my tweezers have been out in my car, so I haven't done them like all week. But I'll go through and pluck like all the, the really, you know, the coarse, dark, like eyebrow hairs. And then I'll just take 
my little tinkle razor and come in here and just work in between them. And then same thing, you can come under here and get all those fine hairs that you get right here. So you can still pluck and pull out those really coarse ones, but then use this to really smooth that surface. So now, I wanna go back and show you now. I'll just get this little spot right here. I'm probably gonna have to like fix this. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I'm probably gonna have to fix it because it's super, it's super weird to do it in a camera. I just can't see that well. And do my lip. Oh my gosh, this is so gross. You guys better appreciate this because this is totally embarrassing. Also, you see my finger? I burnt my finger so bad, I got a brand new wand. I'm gonna be showing you some really fun curls next week. I'm super excited. But my new wand is very hot and it's a different size than my old one and I, the motion got away from me and I burnt my finger, so. All right. And you can even take it too and like catch some of those like fine hairs you get down here. I mean, I don't apply makeup to that part of my neck, and so I don't ever really notice them, but when it only takes just a second to like just do that really fast and clean things up, and I would say I probably go through once, maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks and just kind of clean things up and just keep things nice and smooth, and it makes such a huge difference. And then I'll take my razor, and I'll just take my hand towel in my bathroom, and I'll just go through and just really like wipe off the razor really good. Make sure there's no like skin oils on there or if you'd had any moisturizer on from the night before. I like to do this um, right after I've washed my face. Wash your face, dry it, and then I'll just kind of wait a few minutes so my skin doesn't have that like kind of tacky moist feeling so that that razor can kind of just glide really easily. And it just makes it so, so smooth. And then you've got your little guard that you can slide it in and keep it in your, I actually keep mine in my little makeup bag so that if I'm doing my makeup and I'm like, oh, I'm starting to get kind of fuzzy, then I can just grab it right out of my makeup bag, touch up a little spot and then put my makeup on. So now I'm going to grab a little bit of my highlighter, hopefully not like a crazy ton like I did last time and put this on and let you guys kind of see that difference. I mean, hopefully you can kind of already see just how smooth that went on. It's not catching on all the hairs. Like it even feels different going on with my brush. It goes on so smooth. And then you get that like perfect smooth photo finish. It makes your makeup look so much more natural to have that smooth finish. So. That's pretty much it. Um, again, these are like the little tinkle razors. I'm curious what you guys think and if you like them. So if you guys try one, mom will send you one. I have an extra one. Um, if you guys order some and you try some, post on here and show me. Like, let me know what you think. If you didn't like them, let, let me know so that I'm not like continuing to recommend them to people. Or if you loved them the way I love them for just a really quick, nice, smooth skin cleanup, then let me know that too. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good Thursday. We're gonna go catch some sun. I'm gonna sunblock up my face really good. On a side note, um, we just got in our brand new, it's called Stay Outside, and it's our Stay Spray, but it has SPF in it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw some makeup on and put my Stay Spray on, my Stay Outside, and um, See how it holds up in the heat and the sunshine today. So I will let you guys know. Thanks for tuning in.